Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the making of body butter. So I'm not going to share the recipe because I have found that for different climates different kind of ingredients need to be applied depending on how hot or humid it is etc. That's one of the reasons. And But I will show you the process and I'm sure that you can find some tips here and there in the internet or what to put in your in your body butter and also the things, the oils that you would like to have in your own body butter. So this is a whipped one. So what I'm going to do is I fill the ingredients in here. This will go in a double boiler. And then I love these Pyrex jugs because they come with a lid. So once they are melted, you just put on the lid and you pop it in the fridge and then the next day you are ready to continue the procedure because then you will need to whip it. So I will show you here an example. This is another recipe. This is the aftershave balm. Here I use the unrefined shea butter. You can see the color is a little bit more like rustic or, or colored or um, but this is very good for the aftershave balm that I'm doing on a regular basis. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the double boiler and then show you the melted result. So these are the amount of oil, solid oils and also liquid oils that have been melted down, combined. And um, as you can see, I split them in exact two um, different batches because I'm just making five at a time. So this is going to be five jars of 100 grams and this is going to be another five. And that's how it is. And I'm hand mixing it like with a hand mixer. I'm not using a KitchenAid because I, I also don't know if the whisks of the KitchenAid are holding are enough firm or enough hard to get through the mixture once it's solidified. You will see it in a moment. Yeah. So I'm covering these up. They go into the fridge for one day, like overnight basically. And then tomorrow we're gonna be back. I'm gonna be back tomorrow. You're gonna be back in a second. The next day, and this is how the body butter mixture looks like when it's solidified. So I'm gonna take it out of the fridge, as you can see here. I'm gonna leave them about an hour um, at room temperature, and then I'm gonna be able to whip it. I'm gonna show you in a moment. Like the solidified butters have rested about one hour in the room temperature, so they should be fine to be whipped. I have the mixer here. It has very sturdy whisks. Don't use these flimsy fine ones that you would use to, you know, whisk an egg or something like this. It really needs like a something substantial. So I'm going to introduce the whisks, and then I'm going to show you the the process of whipping and how this will increase. Of course, it's going to be maybe for some of you boring, but I'm I'm sure that some of you will be interested to see how this process, like how it evolves. Also one important thing before you start doing this, make sure you sanitize all your instruments. That's very important. We don't have any water in this um, recipe. So that means that's very good because we don't need any preservatives. Like the microbiological lab is checking and this was also checked, of course, and there is so little water in it that it doesn't need any preservative. So it makes it even more natural, very, very nice product to use. So I'm going to start now and I'm going to show you the entire procedure.
At this point, there should not be any chunks around the jar, so I'm gonna just check and see if everything is. Oh, here we have a little bit. Can you see? 
so on the on the sides just to make sure that everything is incorporated into this whipped mixture here so we're not yet there and i'm just going to continue and you, you want to point your mixer this um, exactly it was there where i but i didn't go like you know this side here so i'm going to continue are okay if everything is in there's a little tiny bit over here that i'm just going to continue and <clears throat> i'm going to move you a little bit down so you can see better See the consistency it's very creamy and that's something you can achieve by whipping it this way it takes a little time 
uh, it's totally worth it because it's really spreadable and as I said, there is no water in it. And I think this is just fabulous. Right, so at this point, if you want to color it and fragrance it, then you, you can do that. Uh, I have an order for natural body butter, so I'm gonna just jar it up now. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video and um, see you very soon for another one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.